Good morning, guys. It is a Tuesday morning and we are under a winter weather watch in New York and it's very exciting. So I thought I'd start a new vlog today. Welcome to my morning look and take you through a just day of my life in New York City working from home. First of all, look at all this snow. It's just coming down. We're expected to get up to half a foot. Josh and I have ever seen snow quite like this. yoga and I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I took a shower and then just like very simply got ready for the day. With working from home I like almost never wear makeup during the week because my company we just don't really have a culture of having like cameras on in zoom meetings which I love. So yeah this is basically what I look like every day while I work from home. One thing that I've been loving lately for breakfast is these little egg frittatas that you can get from Trader Joe's. They're frozen and you just like pop them in the microwave and they're so good and the nutrition facts are pretty good on them. I don't have the box anymore but you know high in protein have some veggies in there. So yeah I often have three of these for breakfast and sometimes I'll make a bagel or have some yogurt or something as well But this morning I'm not feeling super hungry So I'm going to eat my little frittatas and get started responding to slack messages because there's a lot already this morning And then dive into my work day disjointed today like I wear two different hats on my team my first and most important hat is as a developer so obviously all of my time is spent coding but I also am the scrum master for our team which is like a more process and like communications oriented role and that's supposed to take about like 15 to 20 percent of my time but somehow always seems to take much more than that. <laughs> so this morning was a lot of like back and forth on Slack and uh, meetings and stuff related to processes. And like, I'm also leading this project that we're working on for a specific customer to do a data import. And so we had some meetings around like the timeline of that and like the rollout with the customer. But hopefully this afternoon, I will be able to dive into some more heads down coding time because that's what I love to do most of all. Um, if you hear background noise, that is the washing machine. I'm doing my second load of laundry for the day. One of my favorite things about working from home is that you can just kind of like, do that stuff throughout your day and it doesn't really like take time away from anything so like right now also while i'm making my lunch i'm gonna load the dishwasher and i feel like it just frees up so much extra time in my day because by the end like when i'm done working for the day i don't have to come home and then like do laundry and do the dishes that's really nice for lunch today i'm going to make these bean rice and cheese burritos from trader joe's i actually don't like these very much <laughs> i had i bought two of these last time i went to trader joe's for the first time and they're just kind of dry yeah i'm gonna try cooking it a little bit different this time because it tells you to put like a wet paper towel over the top but then i find that the bottom of the burrito is like rock hard so i'm gonna try wrapping the whole thing with a damp paper towel and see if that makes a difference and then i'm also going to have some cucumber salad that has just been marinating overnight. This is like one of my favorite, like easy go-to vegetables, by the way, I love cucumbers and I know that they're like 90% water, but they're green. And then I've been loving poppies lately. I'm gonna have one of these. And I've kind of gotten into a habit of watching an episode of Shit's Creek over my lunch break. So I am gonna be doing that also. <laughs> paper towel 
stuck to the bottom of the burrito. <laughs> many hours later at this point um, where today has just been a little bit crazy. Josh and I just got home from a really quick little like walk around the block just to kind of shake things up because we were both feeling a little. The snow is already like melting a lot which is kind of sad. It's just like super wet and slushy out and not even that cold. Now I'm finally done with work for the day. It is 5 52 p.m. I'm just going to probably read for a little bit. This is going to be a little bit of a book haul. <laughs> Normally I read mostly on my Kindle and I use the Libby app to just like get books through the library. So I honestly haven't bought a book in like years for myself at least. But for some reason this month I just like was really wanting to read physical books. And also a lot of the books that I bought, I want to be able to like refer back to and read multiple times. So anyways, I ended up buying them. But if you don't know on Amazon, you can buy like used books also, not just new books. So I was able to get like a really good deal on a lot of these books um, and buy them used, which Amazon in general, if you are buying anything, you should always scroll down and below the like buy new section. There's oftentimes a buy used section and it'll show you how much it would be to buy it used. And they have like stuff that has just been returned and like the boxes open or whatever so you can get stuff like super discounted that's like basically completely new pro tip for amazon but this is what i'm currently reading it's called culture making recovering our creative calling by andy crouch this book is so good it's about how as christians we're called to create culture that god made us as humans to make something of the world yeah it's just super super inspiring so i definitely recommend that book and then the relational soul moving from false self to deep connection and so i'm really looking forward to reading that once i'm done with this one I usually do like a bit of a rotation. So I'll have like one fiction book that I'm reading, which right now is this one, which was Josh's like favorite book as a teenager. So that's been a fun bonding experience. So currently reading these two books. Well, actually I guess I kind of have three because I also started reading this one. Now don't freak out, this is not imminent, but that is definitely the next season that we are eventually going to be moving into. And I'm the kind of person that loves to learn everything possible there is to know about something when they're excited about it. So I'm in my research phase, as my sister-in-law called it. So I ordered a bunch of books about it. This is the lineup. I'm about to be very well read in the pregnancy and birth department. For now, we'll put those aside. And I think I'm just gonna read this for a little bit and then I'm um, talking to my brother um, on the phone. I cannot chill until everything is, not everything, certain things are clean. So just tidy the kitchen slightly. While I was cleaning, I was thinking about something I wanted to update you guys on. I am actually gonna start volunteering at the Humane Society, hopefully soon. I have a volunteer orientation this coming Sunday. It's something that I've been thinking about for a while, but I kind of kept putting off because I was like, one, I, I feel like I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna end up in a situation where I want to adopt like all the cats and dogs. Two, the one that I wanted to volunteer at is not super close to where we live now, but Especially with it being like winter and kind of like hard to just like get out and do stuff in the city without spending money because it's cold and you don't want to be outside. I've been looking for things that I can build into my schedule to kind of like force myself to leave the house because it's really easy for me to, with working from home, just kind of like go through my days and not really prioritize getting out of the house. And even though it feels easier in the short term, in the long term, it is actually like not good for my mental health. I'll let you know how the orientation goes on a Sunday and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm actually so tired for some reason. I don't know, it just like kind of hit me like a wall of bricks while I was sitting here talking to you guys. Morning. We are on our way to an Ash Wednesday service at our church. The snow is like mostly melted. You can see there's a little bit still on the ground, but yeah. Unfortunately, did not stick around too long. Tomorrow, actually today is Valentine's Day, but tomorrow we are going on a little um, Valentine's Day outing, I think for dinner.
Josh got me some flowers while he was out. Absolutely gorgeous. Some little Valentine's Day flowers. I love them, but he's so funny. I don't particularly love roses. And so when he came back with these, he was like, I'm sorry, I know that they're roses, but they didn't have any, they like didn't have roses in them. I'm like, it's okay, it's all good. They're still really pretty. Um, and then this is the card that I got for him. I actually saw this like a few months ago at the hardware store and I just thought it was so stinking cute because we always say that to each other. What's going on out there? Oh, it's weird. There's like um, Jewish police of some sort. I actually need to figure out what that's all about. I'm very curious, but they have a police car that has some Jewish writing on the side and is parked up the street from us frequently and it was just going by with a bunch of other ones. So some kind of Jewish crimes being committed or something. Anyways, Josh left a couple hours ago. I've just been working from the couch, which I would not recommend, but I also need to pick out an outfit for tomorrow. I'm not particularly looking forward to that process because I just like don't have a lot of fancy clothes. I don't know. We're going to like a pretty nice dinner and also like New York nice is way nicer than pretty much anywhere else. So I need to figure out something that's good. Those are my plans for this evening. wash this thing. You don't. Or you hand wash it, I guess. I am going to go with this dress. I think I'm gonna try to hand wash my sweater, which I'm a little bit nervous about because it was very expensive and I love it very much, but it doesn't look great at the moment, so I need to fix that. So then depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow night, I'm either gonna wear these just like basic nude heels that I've had for 500 years, or these chunky fleece-lined clogs depending on how cold it is and like how adventurous I'm feeling. <laughs> Well, the sweater is soaking. The color of the water is due to the laundry detergent, but I don't know how in the heck I'm supposed to get it dry because the tag says do not wring or scrunch. Here is my sweater all wet. I just laid it out on this bath towel and then uh, I like rolled it up in towels and like squeezed all the water out as much as I could and then I'll just leave it here for as long as I can. I think it looks a lot better. Hopefully it is try by tomorrow night. Good morning. It's the next day and I'm about to do a yoga Pilates video. It's 7.30 already, which means I'm already running behind for the day. I'm also drinking lemon water, so look at me go. The last couple days, I've just kind of not really been feeling myself, so I'm trying to do all the stuff that I know is going to make me feel better. I'm back with the gym with a happy little surprise. So I'm just gonna sit here, have a little breakfast, and then dive right into work. I don't really have time to get further ready this morning because I got a lot going on, lots of meetings. And then tonight we have dinner down in Soho. I don't know where we're going, it's a surprise. And my sweater turned out really good. It smells nice, it's white again. <laughs> it dried perfectly fine and just looks brand new. So it's about five and we need to leave at about 4.45. So I need to go get ready. Josh is having a meeting in the bedroom though. <laughs> the joys of living in a small apartment. I wore my Valentine's Day socks today, even though it was technically yesterday, we are celebrating today. <laughs> I 
probably gonna wear my puffy coat, unfortunately, and ruin the look because it's 35 degrees outside, so. This is the bundled version. to go meet up with a friend at a coffee shop. I never do this, so it definitely feels kind of disorienting for me to leave the house when I like feel the pressure of all the work I have to do, but we'll see how it goes. It was really nice to see my friend, but I did not get that much work done. I found it actually quite difficult to get like focused, especially without my external monitor. It's definitely hard. So I, I really haven't like worked from a coffee shop much since I've been working as a software developer, shockingly, even though it's been like over two years. <laughs> so that was a fun little learning experience. Anyways, now I'm headed home and have a couple more hours of work to get done. I just got to the end of editing this vlog and realized that I never signed off. So this is just to say this is gonna be the end of the vlog for today. I do plan to try to work from coffee shops more often. I think I just have to do it on days where I don't have a lot of meetings and I'm also not feeling the pressure of deadlines. Also, it's just kind of hard to find a coffee shop near me that has Wi-Fi and isn't packed full of people by the time I get there. So maybe going like first thing in the morning is a good idea. I'll give it a try again. The last time was a little bit of a fail, but I will try again and I'll bring you with me. That's going to be all for today's vlog. Thanks so much for following along. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel, make sure that you go ahead and do that so you don't miss all my upcoming vlogs and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.